Hey love bugs, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley if you're tuning in for the first time and today we're going ginger for the fall. Now this obviously gives the pumpkin spice this, the fall, the holidays are coming. This gives all of that and more. I'll be doing a start to finish install courtesy of Asha Mary Hair. This is her beautiful curly lace wig and again a beautiful like ginger orange auburn i'm not quite sure what the direct or exact color this one is but it's giving everything and more we're going to go to the sink and give it a little bit of a wet down to make the curls really really pop and we're going to be going with a simple simple oli but goody conditioner for the product so disclaimer um i filmed this i want to say like at one o'clock this afternoon it is now almost nine o'clock it's like maybe eight o'clock got an hour to go ahead and cook dinner for the kids and get them in bed we've been to swim lessons we've practiced numbers and abcs and letters i've been homeschool mommy i've been soccer mommy carpool mommy i've been all of those things and it's still high in la and this is how the hair is held up at the end of the day and this is my favorite when it just is like big full but still defined it's a vibe so i'm definitely ready for fall and you guys can go ahead and continue to watch as i transform into fall bay it's a vibe i'm here for it but let's go ahead and jump right into it jumping right into it this is the wig straight out of the packaging you guys can see the deep wave texture is absolutely beautiful the dimensions of the lace are 13 by 4 which means you get four inches of parting space going back the lace is transparent lace and as you guys can see we are set to go the length on this one is 24 inches and it's also 180 percent density here's a look at the hairline i personally believe when you are dealing with a colored lace you don't have to pluck and tweeze as much as you do when it's natural brown also this is a look at the hair when you're standing up from the back straight out of the box as you guys can see the curl pattern is absolutely beautiful but if you did check out the intro you're gonna see i'm gonna turn it up a notch by washing her in the sink so stay tuned for that so because this one is 13 by 4, 13 is too far or too long for my ear to ear, but it works perfectly because it's a one size fits all to everyone. Everyone will be able to buy this wig and it will fit their heads. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and cut off a little bit on the sides to make it perfect for mine. And then you guys can see my sideburns or my edges were protruding, so I went ahead and tamed those with a little bit of edge control. Now we're going to do a glueless adhesive. I've seen people say, well, if you're bonding it down, it's not glueless. And I agree. It's still being bonded down, but what I'm not using glue, which means that at the end of the night, I can literally snatch it off. I'm not going to do that, but I can snatch it off. Not like Shansia does on Instagram, but you can add a little bit of water and it'll just come right up, which means we didn't use any glue. It's bonded down, but we're not using any glue. So I like to work in sections. I cut off the excess lace and then I apply a little bit of that glueless adhesive to the center. I cover that adhesive with the lace. Um, once it's once it's positioned properly, I like to blow dry on a cool setting and then hit it with a hot shot immediately after. And I repeat that process on each side one by one. Now that we're done with the install process, I've pretty much pulled out all the hair that I'm going to set as baby hair just to kind of see like, do I need to pluck and tweeze? Even if you decide in the beginning you don't want to do that, you can always go back in and customize later down the road where whether it's the same day, the next week, the next month, or even a year later, it's yours so you can do as you please. Now that I've decided I'm not going to do any more customizations, I'm going to start the styling process. I did add a wax stick along the parting and as well as the hairline. This is going to cancel any frizz and help to just make it fit and look nice and flat and smooth and more so just make it look like a really, really neat professional install. As you can see, I also dragged that along the hairline because I want it to look as flat and melted. You know when people wear a wig and you call it wiggy because in the base and in the crown, it's super bumpy or super, super dense. You want to cancel out any density to make it as flat as and neat as possible in the hairline so that it doesn't look like an auntie or a grandma or a church wig. Now I went ahead and trimmed down the um, baby hair in the very front. I don't want the baby hair in the front to look like super thick, gaudy baby hair. But I like to have something that kind of will marry the tip of the lace with my hairline so that you don't see that line of lace 
in person and baby hair typically will camouflage that for me so as i swoop it i'm going to go in and set it with powder i did do the baby hair a little bit longer on the sides for that big swoop effect and then i added my powder to the hairline as well as the parting to kind of make it look a little bit more scalp like now while all that sets with my melt belt from bdecbeauty.com we're going to go to the sink off camera and I really just submerged the hair in the water and I just let it really 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 soak in that water and that natural moisture to really 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 bring out and make the curls pop. Now after a quick detangle I'm just taking my Tresemme moisture rich conditioner just a little bit was all I needed because I really want the hair to still get big I just want the big hair to be defined and so once I added a little bit of product to each side we can remove the melt belt and we are good to go okay love bugs so we are done with the look not only are we done but the hair is completely air dried I've been to swim lessons I've done bath time I've done a heap of things it's still hot here in LA so I definitely had my share of sweat on my makeup all <laughs> it's like when you say an action all of everybody needs something but anyways um, as far as the lace goes which is very important and key when doing light color hair and it doesn't have a dark root it's always a little bit of tricky of like the who what where when and why of it all so for me personally if I feel like the hair is like a blonde or a ginger or just something that's very very light and unnatural to my complexion it's important that the hairline is not too dense so that it doesn't look like a Barbie doll wig so I don't really like to pluck or tweeze out my colored wigs that don't have um a dark root so this one was a plus that I didn't have to do that at all I did add the baby hair just to kind of camouflage the hairline in case the hairline was too light as far as the parting you guys know I typically will do a powder that is a shade or two darker than my complexion along the hairline and then I'll do concealer the 420 Fenty concealer in the parting I did the Fenty and it was a little bit you really couldn't see it in person, but then um, on camera looking at the playback, it kind of was a little bit off. So I went on top of it with the same powder I used along the hairline and that worked out. I did not wash the hair, but what I did was after install, I set it with the um, Melt Belt from BDFD.com. And then I just went straight to my sink. I didn't have any dishes in the sink, so it was easy for me to just divide the hair on half and half on both sides of my shoulders and literally just submerge it, turn the little spray nozzle on my sink on it and just saturate the ends really, really, really good with water to um, really, really, really get it wet and soak and activate the curls naturally. And then I just took one of my little um, cosmetology or hair towels and just, you know, let it dry naturally as I came back upstairs. I wanted something soft that smelled good, so I just went with the moisture-ish. This is what I typically will use like when I wash my wigs, especially like for the wig cells and stuff. Um, so I just added a little bit of that conditioner on, the, on each side. Not too much, just to, to give it a little bit of moisture without um, weighing it down or manipulating too much or compromising too much the natural curl pattern and I think it looks amazing 10 out of 10. I love this color against my complexion. It definitely screams fall as we get into the pumpkin this and the spice that and you know just all of the fall traditions, the boots, the Ugg boot season has come back up. This one definitely will complement the look and the vibe. Again this one did come from, <coughs> sorry, this one did come from Asha Mary which um, they don't give you a box, they do give you the beautiful, is this a turquoise I guess you would say, dust bag and this is more important even in the box to keep as far as storage goes because a lot of the times if you have a good amount of wigs then you probably don't keep the box anyways but these are all of the goodies that were inside what I see first that stands out is the cute little detangling brush and I love the fact that it's the same like teal color that matches um, the dust bag as well as their own melt belt with the logo in the, that same color they give you a nice good pair of lashes edge brush in yellow like a sage maybe taupey green I don't know if this is taupe or sage but I think it's sage but it's a rat tail comb wig caps sorry my voice is a little bit cracky and then a um and then a just an eyebrow brush these are perfect for cutting the lace and making it look a lot more seamless so yeah, I'm going to let you guys go. I love the fullness and density on this one. You guys can see through the camera how beautiful it is. If you want it to be a little bit more defined and tame, just go in with more product. Probably a mousse and their denim brush. 
and then if you want it fluffy like this you've seen exactly what i did so i'm gonna let you guys go i hope you guys enjoyed this one be sure to check out ashley mary direct link in the description box all the details all the links everything that was included in this video is also in the description box thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches